Hi friends. So today I'm going to show you how to draw a fish in the ocean. And the one thing we're going to do is we're going to make the fish camouflage because if you read some of our books and looked at the activities online and what we've talked about this week with marine life, some fish like to camouflage themselves so they can hide from their predators. And predators are the fish or other marine life that want to eat them. So we are going to see if we can hide our fishy so he will not get eaten, okay? So I got a piece of paper and we're gonna draw a fish first. Now, if you wanna draw a simple fish, I like to go with like a eye shape, like a crescent. And then on the back, I like to do a triangle with an open end. Think about your goldfish cracker, right? Then sometimes you could do a fin like this and a fin like this. Let's give them a little eye, shall we? Okay, so now we have our basic fish. Now you could add a little more fluff on the tail or any of that stuff, give him a smile, right? He's a happy fish. And I think I'm going to make my fish green and blue because I want my fish to be camouflaged in the topper half, the sunlight part of the layers of the ocean. And I'm gonna draw him a little quickly, but I want you to take your time and draw your whole fish, unless you want him to be a little bit spotty. But I'm also gonna add some blue in my fish because most fish, most animals in general are not one color. There are lots of colors, right? So I'm gonna draw a lot of different colors in here. You see, now we have a fish, okay? Now, how can he be camouflaged in the ocean? So I'm gonna take my green crayon and I'm going to do the side of the crayon. And I am going to make the water. I'm going to get a little darker nearer my fish. Let me see if I can hold it this way. A little bit darker in here. You're getting a little bit of the lines from my from the my lid that I'm using, but you get in there. And then I'm going to do some blue in there, some blue in my ocean. And I'm actually gonna go across my fish as if he's in the water. He's hiding in that water really good, right? So I've used the same colors in the ocean. Now, if you didn't want your, if you wanted your fish to hide and say, some coral, maybe you would pick another color if you wanted your fish to be a different color, like orange or yellow, maybe you could make some coral and do a bunch of coral and then your fish would need to be like an orangey color. So the idea is to make your background and your fish the same color. So if you get kind of far away, and far away and far away, you wouldn't see your fish so much. He would be camouflaged. Now I'm gonna stop here, but if I was gonna keep on going, I might add a lot more darker colors here. I might add more to my fish. I might add some coral. So the more you add, the more camouflaged your fish will be. So you could do as little or as more, as much as you want. And if you have trouble drawing your fish, you could always go on to Google Images, have your family click onto Google Image and just click any type of fish you like into Google Images and those fish will pop up and you could look at that. Or if you have a book at home on fish and um, you could also do one that's up here in your imagination. So try to do that and see what you come up with and you could share it 
in camp the next day or tell us about it. All right? Bye for now.